Eighth grade, unit one, lesson 12, congruent polygons. Number one, A, show that the two pentagons are congruent. Segments DE and FG are the same length, so they're congruent. Segment BC and segment HI are congruent. And segment CD and GH are also the same length, so they're congruent. Here's a look at a 90 degree clockwise rotation with center D, then translating three units down and six units to the right. It matches up perfectly. B. Find the side lengths of A, B, C, D, E and the angle measures of F, G, H, I, and J. The side length of A, B is 2 and 2 tenths. BC is 1 and 4 tenths. CD is 3 and 2 tenths. DE is 4 and 1 tenth. And EA is 2 and 8 tenths. Angle F is 59 degrees. Angle G is 94 degrees. Angle H is 117 degrees. Angle I is 108 degrees. And angle J is 162 degrees. Number two. For each pair of shapes, decide whether or not the two shapes are congruent. Explain your reasoning. A. Line segment CD measures 3 on the first shape and line segment GH measures 4 on the second shape. Yet line segments BC and FG have the same measure. These two shapes are not congruent. Segment HG is longer than segment CD. Yet segment FG is equal to segment BC. B. These shapes are congruent. The original shape rotated 90 degrees about C. It moved four units to the right and it moved up one unit. C. These two shapes are congruent. The first shape was translated to the right by eight units and then moved down three units. Number 3. A. Draw segment PQ. I drew a line segment and labeled it PQ. B. When PQ is rotated 180 degrees around point R, the resulting segment is the same as PQ. Where would point R be located? So if I rotate this line segment 180 degrees, they would ultimately be switching places. So the Q would be in place of P and the P would be in place of Q. The point of rotation would be in the very middle. So R would be located in the very middle. In this situation, I think of it kind of like a propeller on an airplane where P and Q would trade places as it's rotated 180 degrees. Number four, here is trapezoid A, B, C, D. Using rigid transformations on the trapezoid, build a pattern. Describe some of the rigid transformations you used. I made two clockwise rotations centered at the vertex of the 60 degree angle. My first rotation was 90 degrees and my second rotation was 180 degrees.